In this introductory video, we will explore the complex process of embryonic skin development. We will cover the formation of the skin and its appendages, the genetic basis of skin disorders, wound healing mechanisms, and more. Join us on this fascinating journey. The skin is derived from the ectodermal germ layer during embryogenesis. The ectoderm gives rise to the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of the skin, as well as its appendages. During early development, a thickened ridge of ectodermal tissue, known as the surface ectodermal placode, forms and starts to invaginate. This invagination eventually gives rise to the epidermal layer, while the remaining ectoderm gives rise to other tissues, such as the nervous system. Once the surface ectodermal placode invaginates, it undergoes further differentiation and stratification. The basal layer, composed of proliferating cells, forms the foundation of the epidermis. As these cells divide, they progressively move towards the surface, undergoing keratinization and producing specialized proteins called keratins. This process leads to the formation of multiple layers within the epidermis, including the stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, and stratum corneum, which collectively provide protection to the underlying tissues. The formation of hair follicles is a complex process that begins with the development of a specialized region of the epidermis called the hair placode. This placode invaginates to form a hair bud, which eventually differentiates into the mature hair follicle, including its various components. These components include the inner and outer root sheath, hair shaft, and sebaceous gland. This process involves intricate cellular and molecular events. The development of sweat glands is a complex process involving the migration and differentiation of specific cells. This is regulated by molecular mechanisms like WNT and notch signaling pathways. Sebaceous glands are responsible for producing sebum, an oily substance that moisturizes and protects the skin. The development of sebaceous glands involves intricate cellular processes and signaling pathways. Sebaceous gland progenitor cells arise from the basal layer of the epidermis and undergo a differentiation process to form sebacytes, which are the secretory cells of the sebaceous gland. The development and maturation of sebaceous glands are tightly regulated by factors such as hormones, growth factors, and transcriptional regulators. Melanocyte are special cells that produce pigment for skin color and UV protection. They develop from melanoblasts, migrating from neural crest to skin. Melanocyte development involves genetic and molecular factors, including signaling pathways like WNT, KIT, and endothelin, congenital abnormalities in skin appendages, such as hair follicles, sweat glands, and sebaceous glands, can result from genetic mutations and abnormal developmental processes. These abnormalities can manifest as various disorders, including ectodermal dysplasia syndromes and certain types of alopecia. The underlying causes and mechanisms of these abnormalities involve disruptions in key signaling pathways and transcriptional regulators that are critical for the proper formation and maintenance of skin appendages. Stem cells are important for the healing of skin tissue. They can change into different types of cells in the skin, like those in the outer layer and appendages. The skin has different types of stem cells, such as ones in the outer layer and hair follicles. These stem cells help keep the skin healthy and can be used in medicine to help with healing. The development of various skin appendages, including hair follicles, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, and melanocyte, is intricately regulated by a network of signaling pathways. These pathways, such as WNT, Notch, and Sonic Hedgehog, play important roles in cell fate determination, proliferation, migration, and differentiation. Dysregulation of these signaling pathways can lead to developmental abnormalities and various skin disorders. Understanding the complex interplay between these signaling pathways is crucial for unraveling the mechanisms underlying skin appendage development. Many skin disorders, including psoriasis, eczema, and alopecia, have a genetic basis. These disorders can arise from mutations in specific genes or from abnormal regulation of gene expression during embryonic development. By studying the genetic mutations and abnormalities associated with these disorders, researchers have gained valuable insights into the molecular mechanisms underlying normal skin development and function. Understanding the embryonic origins of these disorders can aid in the development of targeted therapies and interventions. In embryonic development, the skin is innervated by a complex network of nerves and vascularized by intricate blood vessels. Nerve fibers extend into the skin and its appendages, conveying sensory information and regulating skin functions. Blood vessels supply nutrients and oxygen to the growing skin. Signaling molecules and growth factors play crucial roles in the formation of nerves and blood vessels. Disruptions in these processes can cause developmental abnormalities and impact skin function. In the video, we will explore the process of wound healing in both embryonic and adult skin. We will examine the role of inflammation, immune cells, and various cell types in tissue restoration. 
Additionally, we will discuss the formation and remodeling of scars, and the importance of understanding these processes for tissue regeneration. Embryology offers a fascinating look into the development of the skin and its appendages. From cell origins to complex processes, this video has covered important topics, providing a thorough understanding of skin development and its relevance in clinical practice.